Hey guys and welcome to another bullet journal video. So unfortunately today this flip through and plan with me video isn't actually going to be a plan with me video because I currently have my Dutch family over so I don't really have that much time to set up my camera and film me kind of drawing all of my spreads out and colouring it in and I've just had to draw and colour and set this all up in random spaces of time that I've had over the past few days so unfortunately this is literally just going to be a flip through video of my finished March spreads and my April spreads that I have done over the past week so I am really sorry about that I know that some of you really like actually watching me plan it out but unfortunately this is just going to be a flip through video so without any further ado let's just get into it so if you guys watched my March plan with me you will have seen me planning out these spreads but this is just the finished and final versions with everything filled in so what I'm gonna do is whilst I'm flipping through March I'm gonna put some music on because you guys have already seen this already and you don't need me to explain everything to you you can just see it so I'm gonna put some music on while March is being flipped through and you can just see the final product and then when I get to April I will stop the music and I will just talk through my spreads because obviously you haven't seen the April spreads before so without any further ado let's just get into it And there we have it, those are my March spreads. So now that I've shown you March, let's get into April. So this is my April cover page. As you can see, it has yet another spring theme and I've just drawn some Easter eggs there because obviously it was Easter on the 1st of April. So I completely, I just had no idea how to draw a daffodil so I had to Google how to draw a daffodil. You can find loads and loads of flower drawing tutorials online, on Pinterest, anywhere I just draw these random Easter eggs myself I always use this typography because it's the only one that I can draw really well and I just think it looks good as well so I've got hello April there and then just some bees so I love how this turned out overall it was just a really quick cover design for me because obviously like I said I didn't really have that much time to really sit down and plan what April was gonna look like so I just kind of winged it so this this is my April cover page and then this here is my month at a glance as you can see it's not 100% finished yet I still need to decorate the sides here and rub this pencil out because as you can see I, tr I thought I was going to make the letters bigger but I didn't in the end so I definitely need to add more colour to this page because it looks quite bland at the moment but I've already kind of filled in the definite dates that I know are happening and obviously my pen Day. What really annoyed me though is that from my cover page here some of the green went through and you can see that right there where the ink's just kind of gone through so I'm going to get some Tipex and just cover that up so no one can see or I might cut out a little square of this Loistrum paper and then cover it up. So that's my month at a glance again I've gone for bright colours which is what I've actually seemed to do quite a lot the past few months so if I 
flip through to March we've got bright colours there and then in February I used a lot of bright colours there as well so it just seems to be a theme that I like going for then we have my work hours yet again just be wary of the pencil I haven't rubbed out any of the pencil lines yet but I thought I would take a different approach to this work hours page I do usually do this box grid so as you can see in March I use this box grid here but instead of just having these kind of dead boxes here where I don't really need them I've just started the month on the day that the month starts and just cut out the rest of the boxes so instead of having another Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday up here I just started it on Sunday and then instead of having the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday at the bottom here I just cut it to the Monday otherwise it would just be very very full I wouldn't have any space to put my work hours title because it is a five week month which is crazy so I had to make room for my title which is why I've just cut out boxes and that means I can just put some really nice stickers or thick washi tape there to decorate that then we go on to my expenses page it's very rare that you get to see a an expenses page without any expenses on there but this is a clean slate for you this is what it looks like before all the writing is done so I've been using this layout for a few months now and I found that it's worked really really well so here I just put the date of which I brought the item in this box I write what I've brought and then in this box I write down what the price was I used to lay it out in a sense where I would do all of the dates pre-planned and then split this into sections so like clothes books I don't know toiletries and then fill it out in that way but I just didn't really like how it was working so I switched to this one and I found that this layout works a lot better then we go on to my YouTube and my blog planners I love having these spreads because it just helps me keep track of the videos I need to film and when they need to be put up, whether I've edited them and when it comes to my blog post, whether I've put the review on NetGalley or Amazon. So it just helps me keep track of all of that. So as you can see, I am filming this video right now, my bullet journal flip through um, and that's going to go up on Friday, so in a couple of days. I still need to figure out what videos I'm going to film in the middle of April because I need to just come up with some ideas first. April for my website is quite a busy month. I'm reading a, well I'm going to try and read a lot of the books that I have got on NetGalley because I want to try and reduce the numbers of that and try and get my rating back up again. So I'm reading a lot of NetGalley books this month so hopefully I can keep track of all that. Then we go on to my mood and my habit tracker. So as you can see I have tracked my morning mood the past few days. I still need to put my evening mood in and I still haven't tracked these habits for the last few days because I just haven't had time so I'm going to do that in a minute um, but this is what they look like I have kept the same layout for my mood and my habit tracker ever since I started bullet journaling last June I think so this layout worked really really well for me and I just love how it looks so I'm going to keep on using the same layout then we go on to my time tracker so basically what I do is every day I pencil in the activities in each box that take up the time of the day and then at the end of the month I will go back and I will colour in the squares in the right colours. This blank page here is for a postcard that I want to put in. I don't know which postcard I want to use so I am going to choose that later and stick it in once that is done. Then we go on to my university timetable. So this is quite a slow month for university because I finish early May. It's kind of finishing up the second semester, finishing up the year, starting all the last assessments. You can see tomorrow I get some results back which is very very scary and then I've got some stickers here that tells me when the Easter holiday ends and then I've written down when I'm in lessons I'm only in twice a week unfortunately I like keeping this really bright and simple then we go on to my homework pages so this is two spreads there so I've already put the dates 
for when I'm in the lessons. These three boxes are for when I'm doing my gender class and then this box is for my dissertation class. And then this spread here, these three boxes are for my film class and then this box is for my dissertation class. So I can keep everything separate so I can just track if I've done the reading, if I've started any assessments yet. So it's just really easy for me to keep track of everything to do with the university. And then I go on to my notes page. So it's very rarely that I use these notes pages in the months. Normally I would use them if I have any meetings, but there hasn't been any meetings at university for a couple of months. So I haven't had to use the notes pages. But normally if I need to make notes on a book that I'm reading for university, I'll go back and use empty notes boxes just so I can fill them up. And again, this is a sticker from Redbubble, so I will leave all of the links to the stuff that I've used in the description box below so you can check them out for yourself. Then we move on to my daily spread. So I thought I would switch it up a bit again. These were my daily spread layouts for the past few months and I really enjoyed doing it this way. I thought it worked really well for me. But I decided to switch it up again and have it in bigger boxes, I guess. So as you can see, I've already written down when I need to be somewhere or what stuff's going on. So when I'm at work, when I've got a book club, important stuff that's going on. So my results, when I need to phone the doctors. And then it just goes like that for a few weeks. So we've got week one, week two here. So there is a lot going on on the 9th of April. And then there was a spare box here. So I just decided to use a sticker from Redbubble that I've been meaning to use for absolutely ages and it just spruces the page up a bit. So this is week two. Then we have week three. So again, I've used another sticker to fill up an empty box. And then we go on to week four, which is a full month here because obviously it's a Monday to Monday. So I didn't have an empty box to use for a sticker. But as you can see here, I have smudged the line a bit which is really really annoying so I'm just going to get a white gel pen and go over the smudges so it just seems like a nice straight line. So yeah that is everything for my April spreads. Like I said all of the stickers, pens, anything that I use I will link in the description box below so you can check them out. That is my March and April flip through. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again I am sorry that you couldn't see me physically plan out April I just haven't had the time to do that unfortunately but next time I will so that's all good but thank you guys for watching if you liked this video please give it a big thumbs up if you've got any comments questions or feedback just leave it in the comments box below I do post videos on Mondays Tuesdays and Fridays so if you want notifications for when those videos go up just click on the bell icon below and yeah, that's everything that I need to say. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.